Russian troops are dominating U.S. troops in Niger is a bold and terrifying manner. In order for Biden and the West to engage with Africa at this juncture, it requires a recalibration of traditional approaches and a commitment to fair and equitable treatment of African nations. The current geopolitical dynamics in the region demand a departure from outdated practices and the adoption of new rules of engagement. The question arises, will a nation still maintain relations if forcefully pushed out? Most nations wouldn't, but the United States exhibits a different stance. Despite calls for the withdrawal of its troops from countries like Niger and Chad, the U.S. has yet to take action, indicating a reluctance to relinquish its power in the region. This persistence contrasts with the desires of local governments and has led to the exploration of alternatives, such as Russia, for diplomatic and security partnerships. Indeed, the evolving power structures in West Africa reflect a notable shift, with Russia's increasing influence garnering attention from Western powers, notably the United States. This trend challenges the traditional dominance of Western nations and underscores the emergence of new narratives and pathways for engagement in the region. Russia's assertiveness introduces fresh complexities to the geopolitical landscape, prompting a revaluation of diplomatic strategies and security alliances. The United States is confronted with a complex dilemma following the military coup in Niger, as it grapples with conflicting priorities and strategic considerations in its engagement with the region. Advocates for maintaining a robust U.S. military presence in countries like Niger and Chad argue from a perspective deeply entrenched in strategic imperatives and security concerns. Their rationale is multifaceted, rooted in the region's geopolitics and broader global security dynamics. Firstly, proponents stress the importance of collaboration and partnership with regional allies encountering a spectrum of security threats. West Africa has emerged as a hotspot for various challenges, ranging from terrorism to transnational crime. Extremist groups like Boko Haram and the Islamic State in West Africa province ISWADP, have demonstrated their ability to wreak havoc and destabilize entire nations. These organizations often exploit porous borders, weak governance structures, and socioeconomic grievances to advance their agendas. Maintaining a U.S. military presence is viewed as essential for providing training, intelligence, and logistical support to regional security forces combating these threats. Additionally, there are geopolitical considerations at play. The Sahel region, including Niger and Chad, holds strategic significance due to its proximity to volatile regions such as the Maghreb and the Middle East. The presence of extremist groups in this area poses not only a direct threat to regional stability, but also potential spillover effects that could impact broader international security interests. In response to the complex security challenges posed by extremist groups like Boko Haram and ISWAP, maintaining a U.S. presence in countries like Niger and Chad is seen as essential for addressing these threats effectively. This presence allows the U.S. to collaborate closely with local security forces, sharing intelligence, providing training, and conducting joint operations aimed at neutralizing terrorist activities. Furthermore, advocates stress the indispensable role played by U.S. troops in bolstering regional stability. The mere presence of American forces serves as a deterrent to potential aggressors and provides a stabilizing influence in an otherwise volatile environment. By actively supporting local security forces and engaging in counter-terrorism operations, the U.S. contributes to the maintenance of peace and security not only in Niger and Chad, but also in the broader West African region. This proactive approach is deemed crucial in preventing the spread of extremism and safeguarding American interests abroad. Additionally, proponents caution against the consequences of a hasty withdrawal. They argue that such a move could undo years of progress in building relationships with regional partners and cultivating trust among local populations. The prospect of a sudden withdrawal of U.S. troops from Niger and Chad could have dire consequences, potentially leading to a resurgence in violence, increased instability, and the erosion of hard-won gains in the fight against terrorism. Proponents argue that maintaining troop deployments in these regions is not solely about protecting American interests, but also fulfilling international obligations and upholding commitments to global security. In an interconnected world where threats transcend borders, 
The stability of one region can have far-reaching implications for others. By remaining actively engaged in West Africa, the U.S. demonstrates leadership and solidarity with its allies, reinforcing collective resolve to confront shared challenges. However, critics of the current U.S. military deployment strategy in Niger raise valid concerns in the wake of the recent military coup. Firstly, the coup has raised questions about the stability and legitimacy of the government, casting doubts on the effectiveness of existing political structures. The new leadership's actions, particularly in limiting U.S. influence, signal a shifting dynamic that may impact future engagements in the region. Moreover, critics argue that maintaining a significant troop presence in Niger risks further entangling the United States in internal conflicts and undermines efforts to support democratic governance and human rights. The perception of U.S. interference in domestic affairs could fuel anti-American sentiment and exacerbate tensions, ultimately hindering efforts to promote stability and development in the region. The deployment of foreign military forces, including those from the United States, can be perceived as interference in domestic affairs, potentially fueling resentment among local populations. In regions marked by political instability and uncertainty, such as Niger, the presence of U.S. troops may inadvertently exacerbate tensions and contribute to the militarization of politics. This dynamic poses a threat to democratic development and civilian rule, undermining prospects for sustainable governance. Critics also express concerns about the potential for mission creep and unintended consequences associated with prolonged military engagement in Niger. While the initial focus of U.S. forces may have been on counterterrorism and regional stability, there is a risk that military involvement could expand beyond its original scope. This mission drift could lead to unintended entanglements in local conflicts, undermining the effectiveness of efforts to combat terrorism and exacerbating regional security challenges. In light of these concerns, critics advocate for a comprehensive reassessment of the U.S. military presence in Niger and a revaluation of the broader strategy for engagement in the region. Such a reassessment should consider the potential risks and benefits of continued military involvement, as well as alternative approaches to addressing security challenges while respecting the sovereignty and autonomy of Niger and other affected nations. Critics advocating for a reassessment of the U.S. military presence in Niger emphasize the need for greater emphasis on diplomatic and development initiatives to address the root causes of instability, promote good governance, and strengthen democratic institutions. By prioritizing civilian-led approaches and engaging with local stakeholders, the United States can better support efforts to consolidate democracy and promote respect for human rights in Niger and across West Africa. However, when considering U.S. relations with Niger, it's crucial to also factor in the specter of Russia's influence. Russia's expanding presence and influence in West Africa have emerged as a significant challenge to traditional U.S. dominance and influence in the region. This reality prompts U.S. policymakers to reevaluate America's role and interests in West Africa and devise appropriate responses to Russia's assertiveness. First and foremost, Russia's increased engagement directly challenges long-standing U.S. dominance in shaping the region's political and security landscape. Historically, the U.S. has wielded considerable influence in Africa through diplomatic, economic, and military means. However, Russia's strategic actions, including arms sales, military cooperation agreements, and diplomatic initiatives, have enabled it to expand its footprint and gain a foothold in countries traditionally aligned with the U.S. Beyond the direct implications for U.S. interests, Russia's expanding footprint in countries like Niger and Chad poses significant challenges to efforts aimed at promoting stability and security in the region. Policymakers must carefully consider the potential ramifications of Russia's engagement on existing security dynamics and assess whether it aligns with or undermines U.S. objectives in West Africa. The prospect of Russian-backed actors exacerbating instability or complicating peacekeeping efforts adds urgency to the decision-making process. Furthermore, Russia's growing influence in West Africa has broader geopolitical implications, impacting strategic alliances both regionally and globally. 
policymakers must evaluate how Russia's activities in West Africa fit into its broader foreign policy objectives and consider the potential repercussions for U.S. interests and alliances in other parts of the world. Russia's influence in West Africa is manifested through a multifaceted approach encompassing various sectors and activities. Nations such as Niger and Chad are particularly affected as Russia has been actively expanding its presence and influence in these countries. Russia's engagement strategy includes economic investments, military partnerships, and diplomatic initiatives, all aimed at solidifying its foothold in the region and countering traditional Western dominance. Economically, Russia's significant investments in key sectors like energy and infrastructure have bolstered its economic influence in West Africa, forging closer ties with local governments and enhancing its foothold in the region. Diplomatically, Russia's active engagement with governments and regional organizations has aimed to increase its political influence, shaping the geopolitical dynamics of West Africa to its advantage. However, Russia's rise in West Africa poses several challenges for the United States, necessitating a careful reassessment of its regional strategies and priorities. One major challenge is the potential erosion of U.S. influence and interests in the region. As Russia expands its presence and deepens engagement with countries like Niger and Chad, it threatens to undermine traditional Western alliances and diminish America's sway. Moreover, Russia's growing influence could complicate U.S. efforts to promote stability, security, and democracy in West Africa. By offering alternative narratives and avenues for engagement, Russia may sound discord among regional actors and impede the effectiveness of U.S.-led initiatives aimed at fostering peace and development. Russia's expansion of economic investments in key sectors such as energy, infrastructure, and natural resources in West Africa is a significant aspect of its strategy to solidify its economic foothold and cultivate closer ties with local governments. This growing economic engagement enhances Russia's leverage in the region and provides avenues for resource extraction and trade partnerships, further deepening its influence. By investing in exploration, production, and infrastructure projects, Russia aims to secure access to vital energy resources while diversifying its supply sources. These investments contribute to host countries' economic development and strengthen Russia's position as a major player in the global energy market. In addition to energy, Russia is also expanding its investments in infrastructure projects across West Africa. By financing and constructing critical infrastructure such as roads, railways, and ports, Russia not only enhances connectivity within the region, but also positions itself as a key partner in driving economic growth and development. These infrastructure projects serve as tangible manifestations of Russia's commitment to supporting the socio-economic advancement of West African nations, thereby fostering goodwill and strengthening its influence in the region. Russia's economic engagement in West Africa encompasses a multifaceted approach aimed at bolstering its regional influence and advancing its strategic interests. Through initiatives like the Russian Export Center and partnerships with local governments, Russia is financing and constructing critical infrastructure such as roads, railways, ports, and telecommunications networks. These investments not only facilitate economic development and regional integration, but also create opportunities for Russian companies to participate in lucrative construction contracts and infrastructure development projects. Furthermore, Russia's investments in natural resources, including minerals and precious metals, aim to tap into the rich mineral deposits abundant in many West African countries. By acquiring mining rights and establishing joint ventures with local companies, Russia seeks to exploit these resources for export and domestic consumption, bolstering its regional economic interests. Russia's military engagement in countries like Niger and Chad extends its strategic efforts to forge partnerships with local armed forces. Through these initiatives, Russia provides training, equipment, and logistical support to bolster the capabilities of these forces and foster closer military ties. This military engagement includes instruction in tactics, techniques, and procedures, as well as specialized training in counterterrorism operations, intelligence gathering, and border security. By enhancing the capabilities of local military forces, Russia aims to strengthen their ability to combat security threats such as terrorism, insurgency, and transnational crime. 
This contributes to regional stability and security, aligning with Russia's broader strategic interests. In addition to training, Russia also supplies military equipment and hardware to its partners in Niger and Chad. This includes weaponry, vehicles, communication systems, and other military hardware designed to enhance the operational effectiveness of local armed forces. By providing modern and sophisticated equipment, Russia not only improves the capabilities of its partner forces, but also establishes itself as a reliable supplier of defense technology and equipment in the region. In addition to providing training and equipment, Russia extends logistical support to its military partners in Niger and Chad, ensuring the operational readiness of their armed forces. This support encompasses assistance with maintenance, repair, and sustainment of military equipment and infrastructure, crucial for enabling effective deployment and sustainment of military operations against security threats. By offering such logistical support, Russia aims to strengthen its military ties with countries in West Africa, positioning itself as a reliable security partner and expanding its influence in the region's security landscape. Russia's military engagement in West Africa serves strategic objectives beyond commercial interests. By forging partnerships with local armed forces and providing comprehensive support, Russia seeks to enhance its strategic leverage and establish a presence in areas traditionally dominated by other global powers, such as the United States and France. This strategic positioning allows Russia to shape regional dynamics, advance its geopolitical goals, and counter the influence of rival powers like the EU. Russia's diplomatic initiatives in West Africa aim to increase its political influence and acting space in the region, positioning itself as a key player in regional affairs. However, Russia's approach differs significantly from traditional Western alliances in several key aspects, reflecting its distinct geopolitical objectives and strategic priorities. Firstly, Russia's approach in West Africa is characterized by pragmatism and transactionalism. Unlike traditional Western alliances, which often come with political conditions or expectations of alignment with Western interests, Russia's engagement focuses on economic interests and strategic partnerships. This approach prioritizes economic investments, resource extraction, and arms sales with fewer political strings attached, appealing to countries seeking alternatives to Western influence. Secondly, Russia's approach emphasizes promoting democratic governance and human rights, which sets it apart from some traditional Western alliances that have been criticized for supporting authoritarian regimes in exchange for strategic benefits. Russia's engagement in West Africa signals a willingness to engage with governments while also advocating for democratic principles, albeit with a pragmatic approach that may prioritize stability over democratization. Lastly, Russia's approach to building alliances and partnerships in West Africa demonstrates flexibility and opportunism. Unlike Western alliances, which may be constrained by historical ties or colonial legacies, Russia's engagement is not limited by such factors. This flexibility allows Russia to pursue relationships with a diverse range of actors, including regimes or groups that may be at odds with Western interests or values, enabling it to navigate complex political landscapes and capitalize on emerging opportunities for cooperation. One key advantage of Russia's approach is its ability to eschew the historical baggage and colonial legacies that have shaped the world, the relationships between West African countries and traditional Western powers. Russia's engagement in West Africa diverges from that of former colonial powers like France and the United Kingdom due to its lack of historical burdens or perceptions of neocolonialism. This absence of historical baggage grants Russia the freedom to engage with countries in the region on its terms, without the same level of suspicion or resentment that may accompany Western involvement. This flexibility enables Russia to pursue alliances and partnerships in West Africa without being bound by traditional dependencies or alliances. Unlike Western powers, Russia is not constrained by historical ties, allowing it to engage with a diverse array of actors, including governments with authoritarian tendencies, rebel groups, or marginalized non-state actors. Moreover, Russia's approach is marked by opportunism, as it leverages existing regional grievances or conflicts to its advantage. By identifying and exploiting political, economic, or security vulnerabilities, Russia can offer military assistance, economic incentives, 
or diplomatic support to countries or groups in exchange for strategic concessions or alignment with Russian interests. This strategy allows Russia to foster connections with a wide range of entities, spanning from governmental bodies to insurgent factions, and to pursue its strategic goals with more flexibility and responsiveness compared to its competitors. Consequently, Russia emerges as a potent force in the geopolitical landscape of West Africa, possessing the ability to wield influence and shape outcomes in previously unforeseen ways. Should the U.S. reconsider its involvement in Africa? Is there merit in clinging to a position despite facing resistance? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Is there a possibility of a reconciliation between the U.S. and Niger? Do you desire access to more content like this? If yes, consider subscribing to our channel and activating the notification bell.